This video covers the IGCSE Biology Objective 6.1.9 on the 2025 CAIE syllabus to investigate the effect of light and dark conditions on gas exchange in plants. So before we get started with the actual experiment, we're going to take a look at what happens with the indicator that we use with this experiment. So the indicator we use is called hydrogen carbonate indicator. And under normal conditions, it has this like pinkyish, almost orangey color. So what's going to happen with this in this particular, particular experiment is someone is just going to blow into one of the glasses and you can see the presence of carbon dioxide turns the indicator yellow. So what that means is there's a high level of carbon dioxide that has been released into that particular indicator. So hydrogen carbon indicator can come in a variety of shades as pictured here. So the three that we're mostly interested in is the two extremes and then the middle of the road, uh, just kind of normal conditions. So the yellow is the high levels of carbon dioxide. The orangey pink is atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide and purple is no carbon dioxide is present. So all carbon dioxide has been removed from the presence of that indicator. So these are the three colors that we're interested in, yellow, pink, and purple. Yellow, high carbon dioxide, pink, atmospheric levels, and purple, no carbon dioxide. So let's take a look now at the experiment, which is going to use this hydrogen carbon indicator to test for the gas exchange in the plant. So this is what our setup is going to look like. We're going to have four test tubes. Two test tubes are going to be covered with black paper to represent the dark conditions, and two test tubes will be exposed to light. The two test tubes with the black will look identical as to the contents. So what they both have is that they're both set up with airtight rubber bung, meaning that air can't move in and out of those test tubes. One is going to have an aquatic plant, which we have already seen, and the other one is not going to have any plant in it at all, and both of them will have solutions of hydrogen carbonate indicator in them. So again, the two test tubes under the black paper are going to look identical to the two test tubes under the light. And then this is left for a period of time and let's see what our results look like. So this is our setup. So here are the results. The two tubes on the left were in the light. The two tubes on the right were in the dark. So we see that tubes A and C had no change. B, which was in the light, became had a darker pink color to the hydrogen carbonate indicator, and D, which was in the dark, the hydrogen carbonate indicator turned yellow. So what do these results tell us? Well, first of all, we see that the tubes that did not have plants in them did not have any change to the indicator. That's expected. Obviously, no gas exchange is taking place there. We had a tube that turned yellow that tube was in the dark. That means high levels of carbon dioxide was released. So what's happening in that test tube? We had a tube that turned purple. That tells us that the carbon dioxide was removed from that solution, meaning that the carbon dioxide must have been used by the leaf. So what does that tell us? Well, let's take a look at plants and gas exchange. So the leaf that turned the hydrogen carbonate indicator purple is a leaf that is in bright light. That is a plant or a leaf that is doing both photosynthesis and respiration. Photosynthesis is going to use carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. Respiration is going to produce carbon dioxide and use oxygen. So the plant is using up all the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, in this case, the test tube, thereby turning the hydrogen carbon indicator purple. So we see that in bright light, plants do photosynthesis and respiration. Now the plant that was in the dark, turning the hydrogen carbon indicator yellow, 
is a plant that is only doing respiration. That is a plant that takes oxygen from the atmosphere and produces carbon dioxide. And that is what this experiment is showing to us. That plants do respiration and photosynthesis during the day and only do respiration at night.